Today is the big food for the Hungry Drive in our town, our county. Collection points all over county uh, from 9 a.m. to noon at the Dollar General hometown market. Tara is going with her children's church leader. She's actually on the lead team, which means that she could have moved up to the teen youth group, but she stayed behind in the children's to be one of the leaders. And she is headed out with her leadership team and they are going to go work food for the hungry. Kaylee's in the back. She is headed out for her first babysitting job. Oh my gosh. She is babysitting from 9 to noon today. The mom is going to be there. And this is kind of like babysitter training, <laughs> which is how I started. The lady who has hired her to babysit, that's how she started. She's actually going to be there and working on getting chores and getting her house cleaned up and I don't know what else, but she's going to be there the entire time. Kaylee's just going to kind of keep her kids out of her hair. Tara's going up to work food for the hungry. We're outside. I'll go. come back at noon. Hold out here though. Yeah, the door. Is people are going to be driving by the to give us money yeah. or canned goods and we're just taking oh, yeah. it and we're going to load it on a big truck that's right there. And they've got stuff inside for us so like if you get cold just call me and go inside. Well I feared that was going to be the case. Tara's working outside today and it is freezing. My eyes just from standing out there for just a couple minutes. Um, my eyes were watering so bad from the cold. How about you? Is it freezing? Yeah, and I think it's supposed to start snowing at some point too. So, whew. it's now 23 degrees outside. I don't know what the wind chill is. I'll check that when I get home. But my poor baby has to be outside. That is where Tara's working at today. I'm so proud of her for doing volunteer work because volunteer work is my jam. I volunteer like a crazy person and I feel like it's really important to serve others above yourself. And um, I'm so proud of her getting that kind of work done today. Well, Tara, Kaylee's going to be much warmer than Tara because she's in a nice cozy home um, that smelled of cinnamon rolls and bacon. They made breakfast for her. So I'm really excited. I didn't vlog just because, I don't know, it just kind of felt odd. I know I was uh, really complimenting Tara on her volunteer service, but I'm also incredibly proud of Kaylee, too, for being somebody who is responsible enough that at 10 years old, um, there are people reaching out to me asking if she would like to start being a babysitter and training for them. It makes me so proud of the responsible, kind young lady that I've been raising. So I'm gonna go home and get around for the day, try to get some cleaning done to get ready for our Christmas tree. After I'm home, I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. I forgot to bring it with me this morning and so I've started the vlog on my phone, but all footage after this will be from the GoPro. Huh. Weird. Been trying to start this clip for a while and my GoPro wasn't working. Anyway, it's working now. We're headed back out to go get the girls. I was going to pick them up at noon. I left the house at like 5, 10 after 12. And no sooner did I get in the car and start driving down the road than Tara called and said, can I please stay longer? I'm having so much fun. She decided that she was going to brave the cold temperatures and keep on helping. So it's now 2 p.m. I texted the lady who Kaylee is babysitting for and I said, do you want Kaylee to stay longer? Tara's going to stay longer. And she's like, yes, I'll keep her. I got $10. Oh my gosh. The very beginning. Did you tell her thank you? Yeah. Wow. Kaylee, that's so awesome. I'm so proud of you. Oh, then I'll go to that one. No, I think you go into somebody's house. Yeah. Did you even know that you were gonna get paid for babysitting? I don't think so. Yeah. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh -huh. What well, do you know what that means? What? That, my dear, that is the first money you have ever earned. I see your blue tongue. But that's the first money that you have ever earned. Isn't that amazing? Like not just from like, hey, I'll give you a dollar if you unload the dishwasher. Like you actually, that was your first paying job. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? 10. Man, so someday when you grow up, you can say, I've been in the workforce since I was 10 years old. That makes my heart so happy. I remember my first babysitting. What a cool thing. She was sassy. Yeah? And she kept I had your hands full? She kept getting in trouble. Oh my goodness. She kept throwing toys and everything. Oh dear. Well, I'm so proud of you. Well, let's go pick up Tara and let's get home so you can get your glasses on, okay? Okay. 
Your eyes, can you can you tell you haven't been wearing your glasses? Big time. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's get going. It's actually just now starting to flake some snow, and I think we're supposed to get an inch of snow today. I thought we were supposed to wake up to it, so I thought it was going to miss us, but maybe it's just going to come this afternoon, which means I got to get the boys on the road because they've got like almost a half hour drive to go get the tree. I don't want them to get stuck in bad weather. Hey. You hanging in there? I'm freezing. Yeah. <laughs> They had a lot of fun though. I posted a picture of all three of them. They were singing and oh my all kind of stuff. Uh, well, I figured since she called me to see if she could stay longer, it must yeah. have been a good time. So, how was your time, baby? I'm gonna be famous. So, Tara, she's. She's gonna be famous. They're making a okay. video. The local Christian radio station has been live streaming and documenting the entire Food for the Hungry event. Tara and her two little friends that were here were, I guess, featured a lot in it, so I can't wait to see that. Whoa! Looking good, looking good. Oh, good, you got the TV up there. Looks great, guys. Where's our Christmas tree? Oh, never mind. The Christmas tree's gonna go right in front of the window. I guess she's been on the live stream like all day. I should have turned yeah. it on. Uh, Trevor's like, they were filming Tara nonstop. The camera was like right there. Like it was sitting there the whole day. Yeah, so she's been on the live stream all day. I should have turned it on and checked. Can you oh well. And we gotta take the money every time we got money or our check or envelope with money in it. We had to run it all the way upstairs to the people all the way back down. And then most of the time when we did that, we always had to, there was always like more money. Oh wow, time. so you get back down there and then there'd be more? Okay, the boys are gone and it is, I don't know why I'm yelling. The boys are gone and it is snowing outside. They are out getting the Christmas tree in the snow. This is the first snowfall of the year. I have to find the tree stand. I don't know where it is. The Christmas tree. Yeah, I know, I hope he didn't scratch his retina. This has been the scariest drive of my life. No Anywhere. exaggeration. Yeah, it's not an exaggeration. <laughs>